Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to solve another lead code problem called break the palindrome. So one thing to note that from today onwards I will majorly make videos on English because many of the people saying that they cannot understand Bengali so that's why to reach a broader audience I will make uh, videos in English but the Bengali videos also will come but less. So let's get started with this problem. So the problem statement says given a palindromic string palindrome uh, repeat exactly one character by any lowercase english letter so that string becomes lexicographically smallest uh, that isn't a palindrome okay so the basic understanding is that a palindrome would be given and we have to replace one character such that it would be lexicographically smallest and the answer would not be a palindrome itself so let's get to the whiteboard and see how we can solve this before starting solving the problem and showing you the algorithm let's just first focus on two the two of the main keywords that was mentioned in the problem one was palindrome and one other keyword was lexi lexicographically smallest so let's see what these two means so most of you all, all already know that what palindrome means right like uh, if a string or any number is given like a b a it is what it is from this side it is exactly same from the behind also so this is or this sort of strings are called palindrome so another example would be b a b so this is what palindrome means and we have to make this palindromic string a non palindrome by changing exactly one character and so that it is lexicographically smallest so now let's focus on what is lexicographically so lexicographically you can uh, think of it like like we do sorting for numbers like 3 5 1 so if you sort the numbers it would become what 1 3 and 5 so if you sort the numbers it will be in descending or sorry ascending order like it's increasing 1 3 and 5 so it is kind of like same thing for the letters if we write a c uh, b a c like this so what would be the common sense telling you that what will be the sorted order of these numbers it will be obviously like a b c so this order like the smallest or the earliest number will be first then the later numbers so this is called lexicographically sorted so this is the main goal we have to achieve here so we have to break the palindrome in such a way that it would be lexicographically smallest so now let's look into some examples how we can do it uh, so continuing with the video so let's suppose a palindrome is given like a b and a so we can break the palindrome in one way only so what would be that way a b and if we replace this a with b so it would be a non palindrome right so another way of replacing or making palindrome non palindrome from this string would be what like b b a so amongst them amongst these two what would be lexicographically smallest so the common sense tells what it would be lexicographically smallest because a comes before b but here a comes before sorry after uh, b so here the character which has less less value like it we can suppose a have 1 or b have 2 dot dot, dot uh, z have 26 these are the letter values of every letter right so according to that a has less value than b so in this combination a is uh, appearing after b so it would be not lexicographically smaller than this so our desired output should be a b b so we have to make this string such a way that it would give an output like this so how can we do this and what are the catches in this problem let's see so now i have uh, listed down some of the test cases or examples uh, which we are going to solve and see how the algorithm actually works so first of the first of all the example which uh, they were given in the sample test case uh, was a b c c b a so this is clearly a palindrome we can see from this side it's a b c c b a and from that side also it's a b c c b a so we have to make one single change such a way that it breaks and becomes a not non palindrome so first of all as i have mentioned already uh, in the previous part that lexicographically sorting or lexicographically smallest mean what uh, <coughs> the a character 
will always be at the beginning of the string if it's possible like uh, there can be uh, two uh, possibilities like a b b or b b a so here the both of the strings have like uh, two b's and one a but this is lexicographically smallest why because a comes before b so this is the motive we should always have so let's check it so here a b c c we have to traverse through every character whenever we first encounter any character which is not a we will replace it with a so this is the first case like if we replace it with a it becomes immediately a non palindrome so we have to write it like a a c c b a it would be the output so this case done for this case where there will only be one character so what will happen in this case so uh, let me tell you one thing like if one character is given it itself a palindrome like if you see it from this side and if you see it from that side it's same so for one character no matter what we change it to it will always be a palindrome so for this sort of example it would be an empty string the answer should be an empty string so we cannot change it <clears throat> for this example like all of them are a so for this example what i have told like if uh, we encounter any non a character we change it to a but here what to do all of them are a so what comes immediately after a b so let's see if we encounter a let's change it to b let's see what happens b a a a but just look at this and this and look at this and this so what do you think here this is lexicographically smallest and this is larger largest among these two so don't you think that this is lexicographically greater than this so we have to make it what lexicographically smallest so we cannot place the b over here so what about we remove the b from here to here we place it at the uh, end of the string like we delete this and place b so this will become now lexicographically smallest so for this sort of cases where all of them are a's we just have to do what we have to just replace the last character with b so it will be non palindrome and lexicographically smallest and now this comes the most in interesting and most difficult test case to pass <clears throat> for uh, any kind of odd length palindrome there always be there will always be a character which is this middle character which is a bit tricky like this palindrome if we change this b to a what will happen according to this <clears throat> this uh, method we, what we have discussed already like yeah, if we encounter any non uh, b or non a character sorry we change it to a so here it was non a character and first non a character what will be replaced by a as we already know but let's just de uh, dig a little deep into it like if we change it to any of the letters it will always remain the palindrome why because we can uh, imagine this character as a bonding or joining part of two separate strings so if we move this string to over here and move that one to here it will still remain the same no matter what character we put it here it will always be a palindrome so we cannot change this so if we encounter any of the non a character which is for odd length uh, palindromes in uh, present in middle like uh, how to know that it's a middle character like we have discussed already like how to check a palindrome if here is i and here is j <clears throat> uh, if we proceed forward and check if these two characters are same or if these two characters are same whenever we meet at any particular point where i is equal to is equal to j then we will just skip it we do not do anything or any changes to this character so we proceed forward now we are here it's a we cannot change it to a then at the end we have to place b so the answer would be for this particular example would be a a b a p right okay so now what will happen if instead of all the a's uh, all around b it will be like c c b c c then it's dead straight like for the first example what we have done for first non a character make it a a c b c c it will be the answer but why we are facing difficulties over here 
two or three of the eight cases are merging into a one example like all are a like this example like middle character non a if you change it to a still remains palindrome so that's why we have to do what we have to uh, remove the last a and put b over here so these are the sum of the test cases which can be uh, occur in this problem and these are how to solve them so we have to write our code in such a way that it will cover all the test cases and give us the right answer in each test case let's look at the solution now so here one function is given break palindrome and one string called palindrome is given as argument so first we are measuring the length of the palindrome and storing it in uh, the variable n so first of all if what we have discussed discussed in the h cases like if the length of the palindrome is just one like if simply just a is given or simply just b is given so then what we cannot make any changes so that it could it could be uh, any non palindrome so the answer would be empty string so it is non breakable so that's why in this term we are returning an empty string so this part done so now we are making the string palindrome into a list so that we can traverse through it so that's why we are making it a list so now traversing through the list for i in range n which is the length of this uh, palindrome or this list also because we have constructed this list from the palindrome itself so now what this j is equal to n minus i minus 1 is so while explaining what i have mentioned that if let's suppose a or uh, right i would say like i the pointer i pointing to the first element we have to check it if the first element is same as the last element because we are using two pointer approaches like for this example here i is this and j is this so for being a palindrome this character and this character should be same now we increase i and decrease j so now if these two are also same like over here b and b then also it's a palindrome so this is the way we are actually proceeding forward so <clears throat> that's why we are keeping track of j here also so how j is n minus i minus 1 like for this example here it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 character long so 6 character means what for zero based indexing 0 to 5 so we have to check zero element with fifth element one element with four element so that's why we are calculating j in such a way so now first this condition what is this condition mean so also in the examples in the whiteboard the last example was like if the middle element is there we have to just skip it so this if condition is exactly doing that if i is equal to is equal to j it means we are at the middle element we have to just continue do nothing now this if condition this if condition stating what if there is any non a character which occurs first just make it a and return the result like here if any character which is not a make it a and return and after we <coughs> and uh, for the last part if we find nothing non a like all of them are a nothing non a so for that what would what we have done for the examples which was shown in the uh, whiteboard we have made the last character b so that's why we have to make the l of n minus 1 b so which means what for example like if a a a a was given we were doing what making the last character b and returning it so that's why we are doing this over here and returning it so that is the basic solution and let's run it while running it uh, i would let's just talk about the time complexity of this problem we are traversing through the list only once so that's why it's order of n and the space complexity is also order of n because we have the array or the string which is palindrome so which you can see is accepted the code is right so let's just submit it so cool it's 72.53% higher than any other online submissions in python so it works so thank you for watching do subscribe for more videos and have a nice day